Welcome to the crazy hair tutorial. Um, I'm just going to show you how to use the uh, hair object. Um, first of all, I'm starting off with an object which needs hair. Um, not that much, but uh, let's just first go to simulate, go to hair objects, and add hair. Now what you see here are guides, and you're only dealing with this for the actual look of the hair. Now you can flick this off because we're not going to use the hairs. And with thickness, I'm already putting in uh, the thickness of the hair, which is really thick. Uh, normally they would be thin. And this basically covers what I need to do in the shader. Now um, this is already hooked up to the cube, so you don't have to uh, put these uh, these two items into a single object, into a group. You don't have to do that, but you have to change a lot of parameters in the hair object itself. Now, I'm just going to pull this up. First, I'm going to go to guides. Now, it's already linked to the cube, and I got eight guides. And I'm going to set the root to polygon center. Now, this will move the guides to the center of each polygon. So that basically means six. Uh, it's got eight segments. Let's put this up to 16. Make them really bendy. And let's see. Let's just flip this open. No, I don't have to do anything there. Now I'm going to go down to the hairs. And shut up. Um, here I'm going to uh, actually tell the software where the roots are going to be and I only need the guides. I don't need that much hairs on my object. So I'm just saying guides. Uh, just flipping this over. Uh, no, nothing. Okay, I'm going to go down to generate. Now, it doesn't need to have the hairs rendered because those are the default hairs. But the type is going to be different. The type is going to be an instance. That's a, basically a piece of geometry. has to be polygons. So I'm going to go in and ask for a cone. I'm going to make kind of tentacle-like uh, appendices. Um, let's see. The bottom radius is going to be 30. The height is going to be 800. And I need to change something in the hair later on. Um, the height segments, I'm going to pump it up to 16 and the rotation lower it to 16 as well. Um, before I make it editable, I'm going to get rid of the caps. Uh, and um, I'm just going to make this editable and go back to the hair and drop it in as an instance. Right. Now, here you see that um, I still see the uh, the original object, so I have to make that invisible in the editor and the renderer. Uh, keep textures, because if I want to texture it, it will actually, for instance, let's make these things red. And just add it to the cone. And then pump up the length. Where's the length? I uh, have to do that here. Don't I? Nope, it's somewhere up here. Guides, that's it. So pump that up to 800. And that's basically it. So now if I uh, play it, the dynamics will kick in. If I uh, pick up the original object, I can move it around. The one thing you have to maybe change is that the roots are pretty wobbly. So I'm going to go down to the hairs again and to the dynamics tab. And I'm going to set the root hold to 100%. Now you can play around with all the dynamics and you can just test drive it by playing your animation because it's already animated. What am I doing? I'm moving the hair. 
and now you can make this wobbly octopus kind of thing which is great and by the way um, you can tell that my editor is not updating correctly in the renderer that will turn out fine <laughs>